Hey everyone, thanks for checking out my videos. Got another unboxing for you. Today being the Turbo Racing 176 uh, C71. It's a fully proportionate, uh, tiny RC car. And uh, if you guys are familiar with the brand, they made a 176 uh, scale uh, Mini Cooper. Um, I think that one was uh, um, all-wheel drive. Um, I did hold out on that one for a while, but when this came out, I just couldn't resist because it comes with the RX-7 FD uh, body, which is one of my favorites. Check this out. Um, got the red, yellow, and white. Uh, it is fully proportionate. It is supposed to have working lights. Uh, which is really cool for something this small um, Here are here's a shot of the details and some of the features on this um, So very cool really excited. I believe this is supposed to come with two extra bodies Which is cool uh, for you to paint and customize um, Got the instruction manual for the car instruction manual for the remote these remotes um turbo racing makes these remotes i'll show you in a bit and man very cool so extra two extra gray bodies i guess very nice and uh, even the spoiler and uh light kits which is really really cool man this thing is pretty nice but anyways uh Here's the yellow one I picked up. Man, it's pretty awesome. So this one is supposed to be a rear wheel drive, uh, USB-C charger, and um, it can even charge on the remote, which is a pretty cool feature uh, of this one. And I'm assuming, yep, pops up from this little switch on the bottom right there and um, yeah uh, very cool um, the headpiece attaches on what's nice about this turbo racing TX is that it's got the dials instead of the buttons like the older model had mm, and uh, yeah, otherwise um, very cool you even give you an extra USB-C uh, cable but aside from that, this is what comes in the box, so I'm excited. Um, now going back to the other model that they sell, the Mini Cooper. Uh, just recently I noticed that they do sell them um, uh, bind and play now. So if you do have uh, these turbo racing transmitters, um, which I do have uh, other spares, then uh, it should work on the uh, bind-in drive, I guess be, that's what it'd be called. Um, but I will need to figure out how to bind this. You can see there's an on-off on on switch right there and then <clears throat> a little uh, bind jumper. So there might be uh, some sort of um, adapter in here that uh, I should be able to use um, for that. Uh, if I ever need to, but you know, very cool. Um, a shot right there. Actually, get this out. So, uh, get this set up, and hopefully, I get some running video. What's cool about these little uh, little racers, and I think they even call it yeah tabletop racers. Uh, is that they're so small you can run them anywhere uh, you want um, so thanks for watching and uh, I'll try to get some action video going on but again uh, uh, Mazda RX-7 FD uh, early 90s I think it was 91 to 94 one of my favorite models um, and I'm super glad that they did it in this uh, scale and also, uh, if you look and find these on the website, you'll notice there's one more uh, color design, um, which they call Limited Edition. And it's actually pretty funny because it looks like uh, 
uh, the Fast and Furious uh, 1, um, the first one, uh, Dom's uh, RX-7. So check that out if you are a fan of the RX, uh, Fast and Furious films uh, and Vin Diesel's RX-7 from the first one. Uh, I believe that's what the limited edition is uh, modeled after. Thanks for watching.